Hi there, Mark here from AmericanAeration.com and in this video I want to do a quick review of the Casco RA2 Pond Aerator. We'll go over some of the key features of this subsurface aeration system. We'll also talk about some use cases, in other words what type of pond, size, and depth that it will work best in for you. And we'll cover some maintenance tips. They are simple and uh, very limited, but key important points to make on how to keep this system running well long term and then in closing out we will cover some comparable systems that you may want to check out on the marketplace and how they how they compare to the RA2 in terms of performance and coverage so we'll start with the features of this system the Casco RA2 will aerate ponds up to two plus acres. Uh, as at 12 feet deep or greater, they'll work almost up to three acres. So anything below that, you can uh, set the system up based on the depth that you have, and we'll go into more specifics in the next page on that. This is powered by a quarter horsepower rocking piston compressor. It has two diffusers. It is very quiet in operation. In 2020, Casco included or updated their systems with an intake air filter module that monitors when um, the filter needs to be replaced and will let you know when that, that time has come. But in um, doing that, a side effect of that module was that it quieted the system down by 34%. So it was a significant decrease in sound output by just adding that module in there and now all the systems come with the module included. You've got an optional steel cabinet as shown in this photograph. This is actually the ground cabinet but they also have other cabinet options available or a no cabinet. We'll get into that in just a second. All of the cabinets include cooling fans. These rocking piston pumps are meant to run continuous full-time 24-7 for months on end and they're very capable of that but they do get very hot in operation and so all the systems that we sell in the cabinets have cooling fans built into the cabinets. Casco is a bit unique in that they also include a cooling fan with the no cabinet version that they have available so there's always going to be a fan available to help keep it cooler. Reliability index in our uh, in our view is almost perfect. Nine out of 10 is how we'll rate this system. We've had very few issues with the Casco brand over the years. Uh, there have been maybe one or two cases where pumps have malfunctioned and Casco was very good in the warranty period to replace those just straight up. Uh, they wanted to see what was going on and they were very responsive. Uh, and so we're very happy with the performance reliability of every component in this system. Speaking of the warranty, this is one of the best in the industry. Uh, Casco offers a lifetime warranty on the cabinet and diffusers, 15 years on the weighted airline, and three years on the compressor. So getting a bit more into the coverage of this system. The RA2 with the two diffusers will aerate a one acre pond from five to eight feet deep. It will aerate up to a two acre pond from eight to 12 feet deep and a three acre pond 12 to 16 feet deep or greater. Keep in mind that with all these subsurface aerators, the deeper that you can get a diffuser placed, the more pond area it will affect in terms of increasing oxygenation and circulation. So depth is definitely a great benefit. As you lose depth, you lose coverage. And that's basically how these how these estimates from Casco have been worked out for coverage for a one, two, or three acre pond. This system kit includes the quarter horsepower rocking piston compressor. It has 200 feet in two rolls of 100 foot each of 3 8 inch weighted airline. You can get additional rolls if you need them for longer airline runs from pump to diffuser. They connect very easily and Casco includes the connector kits with every roll, so there's no additional need to purchase those. With this system, you have two robust air diffusers. They are self-weighted, self-sinking, uh, and all the fittings and clamps that you would need. The optional cabinets are available as a no cabinet option. If you have an existing outbuilding shed or structure, you can go no cabinet put it in there, save some money on the system, but still protect the pump. All these rocking piston pumps need weather protection. So if you need a post mount cabinet or a cabinet in general, you can look at the post mount, which will go on a four by four post, a dock or wall structure, mounts very easy and extremely versatile, and it's more affordable 
than their ground version, which is a, a very nice locking steel cabinet. But it just depends on what you need. Uh, but they give you a lot of options in terms of the cabinets and coverage. This system is also capable of remote operation. And what that means is if you have power away from the pond, a distance away from the pond, you can still use a system like this. You would put the pump and cabinet near your power source and then use uh, some type of burial airline or tubing to go from the pump to the pond edge. And then there will be in this system, a two valve remote manifold that would have the weighted airlines coming off the outport of that manifold. Um, and each one would be valves so that you can control the airflow as you need to in the pond. Uh, Casco typically will suggest using a three quarter inch inside diameter white PVC, the Schedule 40 stuff that you find everywhere nowadays. But you could also use a three quarter inch poly tubing as long as the inside diameter is three quarter inch. They provide all the fittings for those remote manifold systems. So uh, that is an option if you're in need of such things. Specifications on the pump. It is a Tech Air quarter horsepower rocking piston compressor. It will draw 2.5 amps on 115 volts. You can get it wired to 230 volt optionally for no additional charge. Output is 3.2 CFMs, which is terrific for two diffusers. Ideally, we want to maintain an output per diffuser around uh, 1.5 CFMs or greater, and so this falls into that category. It will easily power two diffusers. 40 foot max operational depth and the cost to operate is roughly around ten dollars give or take a few bucks on 24 7 monthly operation on a 115 volt power source in terms of maintenance with these rocking piston pumps there are two points of maintenance to focus on really only two to concern yourself with the first is the air filter intake cartridge this cartridge needs to be replaced on a regular basis to ensure good airflow in and out of the pump. Casco, in a unique fashion, offers this intake filter module which monitors the condition of the airflow and it will provide a pop tab indicator that will tell you when the filter needs to be changed out. The uh, the time frame when this happens will vary by every installation. In very dusty, dirty areas you could see uh, filter cartridges needing to be changed every three months to six months. Most places, I think you can go six months to a year. Some might even go longer. And so uh, it's just a good idea to keep on this simple component so that you can ensure good performance day in and day out with the RA2. The second thing to focus on in terms of maintenance is the pistons or the piston in this compressor has rubber seals on it and these seals will eventually wear down through use. It takes a while, usually it goes three to five years out, could be a little shorter, could be longer, but somewhere in that time frame, typically you will start to see compression loss out of the pump. With this two diffuser system, what you, you will usually see is one of the diffusers will stop working. One will look normal, the pump will be running. But when you see that, uh, it's an indicator that your pump output is starting to drop and you want to look at getting a rebuild kit. These are available from all the manufacturers. Everybody has one and it includes all the components you need to rebuild the pump. Most people do it on site with a few simple tools and maybe 20-30 minutes of time and you can have everything back up and running in good order. Output will be restored and you're good to go again for another couple of years. So it's a very efficient and affordable way to keep these pumps running long term. Finally, some comparable systems that you may want to check out on the market right now, comparable to the Casco RA2. Uh, the Airmax PS20 is also a two diffuser subsurface aerator. It includes a ground cabinet as standard. The one difference is it is using a half horsepower pump, which is twice uh, the horsepower of the Casco. Um, it will generally then cost you about twice as much to run per month, but your out air output will be better. I might add too that Casco does opt offer a dual piston upgrade to where you can get a half horsepower for the two diffuser Casco RA2 for a very nominal upcharge. I think it's around $150 more for the half horsepower. So there is a comparable system with the Casco as well. Um, but Air Max only offers the two diffuser aerator with the half horsepower compressor. EasyPro PA34-2 is also 
very similar to the standard Casco RA2. It has a quarter horsepower uh, compressor, 200 feet of weighted airline, two diffusers, and a multitude of cabinet options from no cabinet, post mount, and ground cabinet. The American Aeration AA1.2 has similar coverage to the RA2, but is a direct drive solar system. This means that it, during the daylight it will run and operate in good order. At night it will not. Uh, the Solar 1.2 Plus is a full-time solar system, again, with very similar coverage to the Casco RA2. And uh, if you're working with a situation where you have no options for power, these solar uh, kits may be the answer to aerating your pond. So you can find all of these systems on our website at AmericanAeration.com along with the Casco RA2. If you have any additional questions about anything regarding your pond, pond aeration in general, whatever, be sure to get in touch with us and we'll do our best to help. I thank you for listening and I hope you have a great day wherever you are.